Hello, my name is Ju Julien de Soif. I'm an uh, artist designer from Brussels, Belgium, and I'm here to talk to you about my project uh, called Design with Git. Um, actually, Design with Git is, could be rephrased as uh, I want to integrate distri distributed version control systems into a designer's workflow. Uh, for those of you who don't know what a version control system is, it's actually a piece of software which helps you uh, keep track of the version of text, mainly, uh, that you write. So, for example, if you want to write a novel, an essay, or a resume, or whatever, you usually start by writing parts of it and then come back later. And uh, after a while, you have many files in your folder, which are called uh, text version 1, version 2, version 3, version 3B, or version 3 ready to print, ready to print corrected, and so on. So which is a mess, even if, especially if you come back uh, months later and want to start working on that project again. So version control systems help you keep track of these versions. So you only have to write one file. And the version control system takes uh, care of all the changes you apply to, uh, to the file you're writing. Uh, you do that by uh, giving a, a little text or writing a little text describing the changes you made every time you want to save a different version of your text. It's also really interesting to use this system if uh, you want to write different versions of your project and if you want to especially collaborate with other people uh, because it's easier than to uh, see the differences between your version and the version of someone else and to integrate them together and merge them. This is a system that has been used uh, for years now uh, by programmers, and this helped a lot the open source community to um, work on the open source software we're using. Uh, what I think is uh, I want to help designers, graphic designers, who are not much into code, uh, to use version control systems and the benefits from, from that in their um, workflow. So I've chosen Git. Uh, because it's the trending distributed version control system of today. Uh, it's a software that has been created by Linus Torvalds, which is also the creator of Linux. Um, why Git and not another version control system is one of the big advantages. It's distributed, and it's quite uh, easy to start with, even if it's a really co complicated piece of software. Um, distributed means that you don't have a central server to keep uh, track of your, ver of, or to start versioning your, your files. Uh, and ev every time, I mean, I know a lot of people who've started using Git, that every time they start a project, they start versioning, versioning it, versioning it, sorry. Um, it's a trending version, so version control system of today, especially because of websites like GitHub and Gitorious. I don't know if you heard about those websites, but um, GitHub is really popular right now because it's, uh, it has a nice interface and it also has um, pushed a lot of uh, the social side of uh, versioning. Uh, so you will find uh, web designers and font designers also that have invested GitHub uh, to share their project um, and to share the things they're working on. Um, so version control systems are great with text files and uh, graphic designers don't usually work with text files. But they can save their work in a textual file format. And these are some examples of textual file formats you can use in uh, design, uh, design practices. So SVG, which we had a presentation yesterday about it, is for scalable vector graphics. Um, ODG is open document graphics, which is used by OpenOffice. Uh, DXF OBG, is for 3D files. STL is also a file, um, file format quite, quite now widely used in 3D printing and so on. UFO is a file uh, for font creation. Those are files, file formats that are written in plain text. So you can open them with a text editor and actually read how the, the, the design is, is saved into the text file in opposition to a binary file format. Um, version control systems are very good with uh, text, textual format because they can spot the difference between one version of the text and another one. 
and say, okay, this lines of text has been changed and so on, which is impossible with binary files. So uh, to encourage the designers to use version control systems, I've decided to implement those functionalities into Inkscape. Uh, why Inkscape? Inkscape is a piece of software, free software, which is used to um, create vector-based drawing. It's really well known, widely used by different kind of people, be it font designer, logo, illustrators. Inter it's also usable for interface mockups for web designers. I mean, many people use this piece of software for many uses. And it's used as it uses SVG as, as its base file format. And SVG, it's a quite old already, it's more than 10 years old, uh, XML-based standard file format developed by the W3C. Uh, it's right now, SVG also uh, widely used, uh, pretty much all latest browsers open it easily, and pretty much every graphic program you can find can at least open it. So uh, how designers use Git, I talked about the web design community, they use GitHub especially to share, um, I would say libraries or, or templates or uh, other things like Bootstrap, Boilerplate, Rootsteam, if you heard those names. Uh, if you Google GitHub icons SVG or Google GitHub fonts, you'll find plenty of rep repositories of files that are available for you to download and start uh, and work on it and share. There is also this group uh, which is present here at uh, Media Lab Prado and Libre Graphics Meeting, which is op open source publishing. And they actually share all their work uh, online through a Git repository. So here it is, their Git repository that I can browse. And you can actually download all the work they've been working on and, uh, and actually start your, I mean, working on them or look at them to see how they've done it. So they're a group of designers who were actively already using Git to uh, keep track of the work and, um, and encourage collaboration. And then there is, nope. Well, this was a video, um, but I, obviously we don't have the networking pretty much. Nope. Well, I did worst. was a bad idea. Is internet working? Anybody? see. Well, this, no, I don't know why it doesn't work, but there was a video on YouTube. Um, actually, there's a, there's a group called EPT Comics, if you go, uh, Google them, you'll find them. It's, um, they use, they've used uh, Git for versioning uh, the creation of a um, comic book, and actually they're showing a video where they've actually gone back through all the history of the comics, and they've animated, animated it into a video. So it's also a great way of seeing what might go through a creator's mind and the way he works by going back to the history of the creation of the project could be interesting to, I mean, drive a piece of work into a different direction. So uh, this is an idea that has been going on in my mind for a while now, and uh, when I see the open call for Interactivus, I, I thought it would fit right in. So um, that's why I... I'm here to present it, and I'm glad I've been selected. But uh, I mean, I have nothing to show yet, and I'm happy to be here to discuss with any interested people how to implement this. But this is maybe how we could do it. Is um, I would like to add, as a form of a plugin in Inkscape, um, first the basic Git commands to help a designer just do the basic. Uh, use of a, of a version control system. So it would be init, commit, branch. I won't go into detail of what those commands would do, 
but there would be an, an easy interface um, to start that. That could be also part of the uh, interface of Inkscape if we add it, is a way to go through the commit history. So the, the history of the, of the different changes you've made to a file. So you could go back in time uh, and say, uh, okay, I wanna see the, the, first, uh, ch the first commit I did or a branch and would display exactly what you did at that point in time and maybe start from working from, uh, start working from, that, from, from that point and create a branch from there. And then there is this visual diff, uh, which is kind of a, like a holy grail I've come to realize, is that for a couple of years now I've seen uh, uh, discussions on the internet about how to uh, actually visualize differences uh, between two versions of a file or between two files. So right now, what, the way they do it, even in commercially uh, products like uh, Adobe version Q, or plethora, or there's many version systems for um, graphic designers, they actually take a screenshot of uh, the state of the, the project you have, and you can compare two screenshots of your project, and you have to visually uh, find where, what are the differences if you can spot them. The thing is uh, that I wanna do is, since I'm using SVG, which is XML based, um, I think we can uh, go down and, and compare two XML files and compare where, where are the nodes that have been, been changed and only display that, for example. This would give more, more information and more, I think, useful information to um, graphic designers about the changes, the changes between, uh, between two versions of a project. Uh, this could help, I mean, I've seen discussions about this on the Wikimedia uh, mailing list because Wikipedia has SVG files as descriptions, visual descri descriptions of, uh, of their definitions and uh, they also do versioning of their files so they might benefit from that too. Um, well, it's, it's a trending topic since a couple years but it seems that nobody has managed to come to um, workable solution for that. So I'd be happy to, I mean, think and work and think and uh, yeah, and come to a solution maybe uh, during the 15 days of Interactivos. So extending, um, this is uh, maybe ex exaggerating already, but if we come with a solution for Inkscape and for XML and for SVG, maybe this will inspire other people in the font uh, design area or 3D area or any other area of design to think the same way and to find their solution to also integrate versioning system into their project. Because versioning system like Git and distributed versioning systems are great for collaboration. Really the open source movement uh, has been benefit benefiting from this and uh, I think that visual designers need to uh, actually uh, jump in that train and um, and, uh, and benefit from that too. And we don't really know where this could lead if we all share the same files and could all share the history of creation of those files. So I'm ready for questions and I'll try to answer them. Okay, that, that's really interesting, but Oh, um, what, what's happened if you use a um, big uh, raster image as a version control? Say w one image is waiting 100 uh, <coughs> mega octet. You say it's, uh, you, f you do five commits and your, your, uh, your hard drive is, is full. So what, what do you think, well, what do you imagine to to manage this? Uh, it, it's a good question. I think it's part of the extending uh, part of my talk because okay. that's why I concentrated on SVG. It's because it's a light file format and ex especially it's hard to do versioning with raster images because uh, you, you can almost consider them as binary files. Uh, 
you would only be able to maybe uh, version the changed pixels. Uh, I have no idea how, for example, f Photoshop or Adobe does it, um, but it, it's a, an interesting question. And I, I would love to have, there is a uh, raster text file formats like uh, X, X and BPM, I don't remember. So you can actually open raster images into a text editor and edit it by hand if you want. But that's as far as I've gone. So. Anyone else? <laughs> Welcome to join at Interactivus and help work on this, yeah? Yeah, you mentioned um, collaboration. Yeah. At the moment, do you find designers use components that are built by other people? such as you have a, a, a poster and you want to put in a font from one producer and a particular graphic image from another. So at the moment, the, the work of a designer, are you often using other people's modules? Yeah, yeah. in my practice, that's what I do a lot. Uh, for example, is using um, in web design, because I, I, it's part of my, my job, I really uh, use like, uh, stuff like uh, Bootstrap or take... Um, I, I never start from scratch. For example, the, the Roots theme is a, a Word, WordPress theme that you can start from as a designer. Or I use also web fonts, uh, open source web fonts to integrate in my design. Um, I never start, or rarely start from scratch except if I have to design a logo or something like that. But for other projects, I always use uh, stuff. So I would be, sometimes when I, especially when I use different uh, I mean, projects from other people. Sometimes I, I want to change a little bit of this, a little bit of that, uh, because it's not exactly how I, I want it. And maybe if I have access to the whole commit history of that person's file, I could maybe go back in time to a version that, that is better for me to start from and to change a little bit according to what I want to do, uh, and then share back with, with other people. So. That, that's what I'm interested in. Okay, so more questions during the workshops. Um, la siguiente. Yeah, last slide. This is my name, and you can contact me on Twitter and uh, the address of the project.